Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by his Shem, Yahweh Shah, Devon, and the apostles and the elders that rule well. Peace and blessings to you, brothers out there that's kicking this word sincerely with truth. I was watching the uh, the apostle Gabar uh, sit down about um, it's time to go to work to destroy uh, this Christian doctrine, you know, and how we're supposed to be uh, visionaries, man. And um, it, it, it reminded me of uh, a scripture. By a chapter in a second Edgers, um, second Edgers, the 10th chapter, and uh, how it was a parable about basically this woman, she um, was a uh, barren, and so uh, she finally got pregnant after 30 years of trying to get pregnant, and then her son died, and so she went to the field to you know to uh, fast and not eat or drink until she 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 died, you know, in a uh, Ezra cursed her out. He was like, look, man, there's bigger things that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Look at the state of Israel, you know. If you read in that chapter, you know, um, that uh, that woman actually represent, uh, represented uh, Zion, you know, and uh, the uh, her, her son dying, you know, represented uh, actually uh, the, uh, the temple being destroyed, you see. So, you know, reading this, it made me, you know, think, you know, what I'm saying of uh, just, you know, how you get caught up in thinking about your problems and not the bigger problem, the bigger, uh, well, the bigger mission. And the bigger mission is is to uh, preach this word, man, so we can get the heck up out of here, man. You see? So, you know, you can't, being a leader, which all of us, you know, that's in his truth, you know, we're leaders, man. Why is that? Because, you know, we uh, care about, you know what I'm saying, our people's uh, situation, man. And we're making, you know, uh, we're doing what the Lord tells us to do in order for us to change that, man. You know, and so I just want to bring this, uh, this chapter out. You know, I'm, I'm not going to read everything. And hopefully, you know, it'll be edifying to to uh, two brothers out there. Uh, before I start, I'm gonna put this on uh, airplane mode right quick, brothers. Matter of fact, I start at one. I'll read down to verse uh, twenty. So it says, uh, Second Ezra ten and one, and it, and it and it so came to pass that when my son was entering to his wedding chamber, he fell down and died. Then we all overthrew the lights, and all my neighbors rose up to comfort me. So I took my rest until the second day at night. And it came to pass when they had all left off to comfort me to the end I might be quiet. That I rose then then I rode I rose up by night and fled and came hither into this field as thou seest. And I do now a purpose not to return into into the city, but here to stay, and neither to eat nor drink, but continually to mourn and to fast until I die. Now this is the woman speaking, man. You know, uh, her son, like I said, her son uh, died. The son that she was, you know, uh, praying to the, to for the Lord to have. You know, she was barren for thirty years, and then after, you know. Uh, you know, uh, after 30 years, she finally had a son. And when he was about to, you know, um, have a wedding, he died, you know. And so so she went to the field, you know, to, not to eat or drink, but to fast continue until she, until, she, until she died, man, you know. Verse 4, and I do not purpose not to return to the city, but here to stay, and neither to eat nor drink, but continue to mourn and to fast until I die. Then left I the meditations wherein I I was and spake to her in anger, saying, "That foolish woman above all above all other, seest thou not our mourning, and what happeneth unto us? How that Zion, Zion our our mother is full of all heaviness and more humble mourning, very sore." Man, so Ezra's Ezra's cussed her out. He's like, "Man, you don't see what's going on." Uh, with our people, you see, you know, Zion, Zion is is very heavy. You know, being you know, being that you know, 
we're in a sad or a pitiful state, man. You see, and you know, and that, and that could go. Uh, this could be um, an admonishment for us. You know, you get caught up in your own life that you forget. You know, while we're here, you know, what I'm saying the reason why we're here is to preach His word and to see that this elect man, you know, in his life can be a huge distraction, man. You know, because hey, you have to live your life. You know, you, nobody's going to take care of you but you. But you can't get consumed with this world, man. It, and and a lot of times, easier said uh, it's easier said than done, you know. But shoot, man, you can't get overly, uh, you can't be uh, selfish, you know, and, and within you wallowing, you know, what I'm saying in, in in your problems, man, because you get go so caught up in what's going on with you, you know, you you don't see that other people are going through things, man. We all are going through things, bro. My brother, my brother got a car, man. He, you know, I, when I complain, you know what I'm saying, he always correct me and say, well, we all going through something, brother. And I used to ignore it. I used to be annoyed so much. Like, like, mom, like, man, let me, you know, I, I just want to, you know what I'm saying, let me uh complain, bro. You know, but this will, this year I understand what he was saying. It's like, bro, we're all, no, we're all in captivity, bro. Not just you. Your problem isn't unique. You see, we're all going through it. You know, but let's keep reading. And now, seeing we all mourn and are sad, for we all, for we are all in heaven, is art thou grieved for, for one son? Uh, for as the earth, and she shall tell thee that it is she which ought to mourn for, for the fall of so many that grown, uh, grow upon her. For out of her came all at the first, and out of her came, out of her shall all others come. And behold, they walk almost all into destruction, and a multitude of them is utterly rooted out. Who then should uh, should make more mourning than she that has lost so great a multitude? And now thou, which are sorry, but for one, and you basically go into how like. Man, death is always happening. You know what I'm saying? He is always occurring, you know? But you may, uh, you're upset behind one in, in one death when there's numerous deaths, especially in Israel, man. You know? And, that, hey, man, what Ezra's is saying to, to this woman, you know, at the time, it, they could seem like, um, you know, uh, very uncaring, you know what I'm saying? A very nonchalant, but hey, in this walk, man, you have to be that way, man. You got you have to be blunt, you know. You have to be unsympathetic, man. You know what I'm saying? To to a brother that's mourning or, or or that's crying over a situation, man. Why? Because we got work to do. You see? You see? Verse uh, twelve. But if thou says unto me, My lamentation is not like the earth's, because I have lost the fruit of my my womb, which I brought forth with pains and bare with sorrows, for the earth not so, for the multitude uh, present is in, in it according to the course of the earth is gone as it came. Then say I unto thee, like as thou hast brought forth with, with labor, even so the earth also hath brought her fruit, namely man, ever since the beginning unto him that made her. Now therefore keep thy sorrow to thyself and bear with a good courage that which hath befallen thee. For, for if thou shalt acknowledge the determination of the Most High to be just, thou shalt both receive thy son in time and shall be commended among women. So he told the woman, like, look, if you understand, you know what I'm saying, that the will of the Most High is just, man. You're going to receive, you know what I'm saying, your son again. You know what I'm saying? Also, you're going to be, uh, 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 you're going to have a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a prestigious uh, rep reputation among women, you know. And we could use what he said, Ezra said, you know what I'm saying, to this woman, you know, in our walk. You know, if we understand that, that you know, we have no control. And ultimately, you know what I'm saying, what bad, you know, 
the bad things that happen to us is the will of the Heavenly Father, you know, um, he's going to, or we're going to be committed among man, you know. We're going to be, uh, um, we're going to be looked at as, 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 as people with prestige, man. As men were of prestige, man, we're going to be in that number that uh, of the elect, man, the 144. But we have to understand that, hey, everything that happened to us is the will of the Heavenly Father. And, you know, being in this flesh, that's 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 scary, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, if you trust in the Lord, man, he got you. That's 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 what Ezra's is saying, man. We have to, whatever befalls us, man, we have to trust in you all by sitting on the side, man. You know, it ain't easy. Shit's not easy, man. This walk is not supposed to be easy, man. Hey, that's why the Most High called it this, the straight gate. You see? Talk about this. The straight gates in, in, in um uh, Matthew, the seventh chapter. You see? And also it talks about the, the, the straight gate in um uh, or the straight way in second address, man. You see? In order to be great, you have to go through things, man. There's no way around it. You know, just like a, a a a great movie, man. The movies that you want to see, you know, what I'm saying that are great is, you know, the the main character uh faces adversity, and he beats adversity, man. You know, that's what makes a person great. You know, all the great fighters, you know, they had to beat somebody great in order to be great. Case in point, look at Mayweather. Look at his look at his rap sheet. He beat Miguel Cotto, uh, shoot Canelo, uh, who else? Shoot uh, Manuel Marquez, you know, Shane, Shane Mosley, you see? He had to beat the, 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 uh, uh, his adversaries in order to be great, man. Now he had, uh, he's, he's a Hall of Famer for sure. But first, what he had to do, he had to he had to tackle, uh, you know, those things that were set against him, man. And that's what we have to do in this truth spiritually, man. Of course, it's not going to be easy. But there's a bigger thing, there's a bigger picture, you know, or a bigger plan, man. That's that's happening before our eyes, man. So you can't get you can't get caught up. And what's going wrong in your life? You have to get uh, caught up in the will of the Heavenly Father. And understand, understand that His determination is just. You see? Verse 17. Go thy way then to the city to thy hus husband. And she said unto me, that, uh, that will I not do. I will not go in into the city, but here will I die. So I proceeded to speak further unto her and said, Do not so, but be counseled by me. For how many are, are the adversaries of Zion? B uh, be comforted in regard of the sorrow of Jerusalem. <laughs> Dang, bro. How many people are against us, man? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true uh, nation of Israel, man. Man, our enemies, are, it seems like, you know, they're unsurmountable, bro. They, they, they can't be taken down, chiefly the so-called white man. So you get, you know, you get caught up in, you know what I'm saying, your little problems that we have. Oh, you know, your girl left you. Uh, your, your job ain't paying you right, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you get into it with your chick all the time. Uh, what? Bills. Broke as heck. You know. But think about Israel as a whole, man. You know? You got some people, some Israelites out there that don't even have running water. And I'm alluding to Gadites, man. Don't even have plumbing. Living on revelation, uh, 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 reservations and squalor, man. You see? And we still, like the brother, like the elder, Yakuza brother, we still have our phones, man. We still have the luxury of going to a, res uh, 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 a restaurant. And we crying over this little stuff, man. You know? But, you know, at the time, it doesn't feel little. Because it's choices that you have to make. But, man, that's a part of growing up, man. Tackling these problems, these issues that you have. You know? Verse 21. For thou seest that our sanctuary is laid waste, our altar broken down, our, our temple destroyed. 
a sachi is laid on the ground, a song is put to silence, our rejoicing is at an end, the light of our candlestick is put out, the art of our covenant is spore, our holy things are defiled, and the name that is called upon us is almost profane. Man, bro. Our, our children are put to shame. Our priests are burnt. Our Levites are gone into captivity. Our virgins are defiled. Our, and our wives ravished. Uh, our righteousness, uh, our righteous men carried away. Our little ones destroyed. Our young men are brought in bondage. And our strong men, strong men are become weak. And which is the greatest of all? The seal of Zion hath now lost her honor, but she is delivered into the hands of them that hate her. So, hey, man, so just letting you know right now, we're in captivity. You know, everything that, you know, we love and once have, man, has been destroyed. Our children, our wives, you know what I'm saying, our way of living, which is your culture, man, has been totally destroyed. In this captivity, man. Totally, bro. You know? And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for our way of life back, man. So you can't get caught up, you know what I'm saying, in, 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 in what you want and being selfish. True leaders are, are servants. In order to, uh, 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 you know, be great, you have to put yourself last in this thing, man. You know, look at look at the apostles. They put themselves last. You know, they have the the tools to to make it in this world. But what that what what have have those great men done? They they put their selves and their lives on the back burner in order for them to be great leaders, man. And that's what we have to do coming up in this thing, and it's not easy. Of course, it's not. It's not supposed to be easy. Everybody's not going to be great but if you want to be great you know through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Hashem this is what we have to do verse 23 and which, uh, which is the greatest of all the, the seal of a sign hath now lost her honor she for she is delivered into the hands of them that hate her and therefore shake off thy great heaviness and put away the multitude of sorrows that the mighty may be merciful unto thee again, and the highest shall give thee rest and ease from thy labor. That's right, man. So we need to put, put that heaviness away from you, you know, and that saw away from you. You know what I'm saying? So the most high will be mercy, merciful unto you, give you that understanding of why you're going through these things or, 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 or how to combat the things that you're going through, man. You know what I'm saying? So the most I could give us a, re a rest. When is that uh, rest, man? When we get into the kingdom, bro. That's when we're going to be able to rest. You see? I'm going to get one more scripture. I'm going to get at your brother's way, man. This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. That's right. So we're not going anything that's not like common. You're not going to be the first person with a whack job. You're not going to be the first person with a woman left them. You're not going to be the first person, you know, um, who's just frustrated with life and, you know, and, 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 and you know, won't, you know, uh, more things in the flesh and want to chill. You know, you're not going to be the first person that have, have, have to give up his talents in order to follow the Lord either. You see? You're not the first person. So it's nothing that we're going through is not common to man. But the Most High is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You know? The Most High is going to give you a way to bear everything that you're going through. You see, your hell is not more than someone else's or different from somebody else's. Man. It's your particular hell that you have to fight and you have to endure in order 
to be great. So keep your vision. Your vision is what? You know, the kingdom, man. Be visionaries like the apostle. The apostle uh, Gabar said, man. Says, man. I'll praise to you. How by Shimi Hal Shah. They have honored to be apostles and yet it's all well. Peace and blessings to you, brothers. I feel this kicking his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.